Would you want to add an upsell and cross-sell app to your product page? Here's an example app with the features of adding upsell and cross-sell to your product page, cart page, post purchase page, thank you page, and blog page. Let's now discuss how to set up the upsell and cross-sell on the product page using the Honeycomb Upsell and Cross-Sell app. Honeycomb Upsell and Cross-Sell is a powerful upselling and cross-selling app that offers a wide range of features, including product recommendations, personalization, analytics, and reporting. It also integrates with a variety of e-commerce platforms. To set up the Honeycomb Upsell and Cross-Sell app, download and install the app on your Shopify store through the link in the description below. Once you have installed the app on the Honeycomb Upsell and Cross-Sell app dashboard, enable the app and create your first upsell or cross-sell offer. To create your first upsell or cross-sell offer, click the Funnels tab in the app dashboard. Click the Create Funnel or the New Funnel button and input the funnel name you want and the product page type where you want to display this funnel. Next, select the offer type you prefer, either cross-sell or upsell. Cross-sell is where you can add complementary products or add more of the same product. On the cross-sell type, you can modify the option on how you would want to trigger your offer by showing for any product, specific product, or showing only in the particular collection added to the cart. Choose your follow-up action when an offer is accepted, whether go to the checkout or cart page, or stay on the page. This app also has a split test feature where you can create two versions of this funnel. When your funnel is activated, we will split your audience into A and B groups and show them different versions. On version A, select a product you want to offer to your buyer, set the discount for your offer, set the discount you want to offer for your customers. You can offer a percentage discount, a fixed dollar amount discount, or a fixed price amount. You can also change the offer text here to display it as the offer title of your upsell or cross-sell offer. Not just that, this app also has an advanced option where you can include free shipping for clients who accept this offer, limit the number of products your buyer could buy, set a minimal number of products your buyer must buy, exclude variants, and this is a personalized product. By simply ticking the boxes that you want to include and saving the changes to be visible to your offers. Next, on version B, you may set all the settings the same as in version A. An additional feature is adding a downsell condition. If offer number one is accepted or declined by the customer, offer number two will prompt and suggest a different product to upsell or cross-sell to the customers. To enable this feature, you have set the settings that's similar to the offer number one that you created earlier. In the first option, if the customer accepted offer number one, you can select or tick the box where it says to skip this offer, which means when the customer clicks the skip this offer, offer number one will be directly to the checkout page. But if the customer did not click the skip this offer, he can see the other suggested products as you add here. On the other hand, in the second option, if the customer declined the offer number one, you can also suggest a different product to let your customer change their mind about buying a product from your store. So choose the best product to offer to your customer so that you can get a high chance of gaining sales. After you set your cross-sell offer, save and activate it to be visible on your store. Here is the appearance of the cross-sell offer on your product page. Back to the app. Let now proceed to the next offer type, which is the upsell. Upsell is replacing an existing product or variant with another. Like cross-selling, you can also choose your follow-up action when an offer is accepted, whether to go to the checkout or cart page or stay on the page. Next, select a product to trigger this upsell. After selecting a product, you can choose what upsell offer you want to give your customers, a variant upsell or a product upsell offer. You can also add a split test feature to this upsell offer with the version A. On the variant trigger, select which variant you would like to trigger for this offer and the variant that will replace the variants in the cart. Add a discount type. Here, it also allows you to choose a discount offer for the product you select to upsell. But if you don't want to give a discount, you can also set the None option to turn off the discount feature. Also, you can just change the offer text and which text or title you want to display. Advanced option. Here, you can add an offer description, including free shipping for clients who accept this offer. And this is a personalized product. On version B, 
You can set all the settings as in version A. We are moving to the product upsell. You can select a product that will replace the trigger product that you selected when your offer is accepted. Also the discount type and the offer text as well. You can also tick the show different texts for different locales as the translation setting of the app. On the advanced option, you can add an offer description, include free shipping for clients who accept this offer, limit the number of products your buyer could buy, and exclude variants. And this is a personalized product. Same setting as well as version A. Next, after you are all set up, save and activate the offer. Let's check our store and what the upsell offer widgets look like on a live view. Here is the appearance of the upsell offer on your product page. Let's get back again to the app. I know that is a long video so far. But not just that, this app has an additional feature. Funnel rules. Here you can set the rules for the funnel, but this feature is an optional one. So, before you place this feature, understand how this works on the funnels you set up. Could you allow customers to use a discount code for your upsell offer? Show only for a specific cart value. You can target the cart value when your upsell and cross-sell offers appear. Do not show for specific products and specific collections. You can also choose a particular product and specific collection where your upsell and cross-sell will only show up. Also, you can select to show the funnel only on desktop and mobile or for both devices. You can skip offers if the product is already included in the cart. Target specific countries you would want your offer displayed on your product page. Add funnel priority, set start time and set end time. The last thing is the design of your upsell and cross-sell offer. On the Design tab, you can modify the appearance of your offer page to match the look and feel of your Shopify store. You can easily change the theme that matches your store, or you can manually adjust the background and text color, font size, and font family of the upsell content, modifying the countdown timer settings. You can modify the product's appearance and what you prefer to display on the app. Also, on the translation setting, you can change all the text content of the app and enable the multi-language for different locales. Honeycomb is a popular choice for Shopify merchants because it is easy to use and offers a variety of features that can help them improve their sales. It is backed by experienced developers who provide excellent customer support. That's all for this video. And if you found this video helpful, please like, follow, and share for more updates.